Greetings history enthusiasts and curious minds. Today, we embark on a captivating journey through the sands of time, guided by the enigmatic figure of Pharaoh Honey. Nestled within the pages of ancient Egypt's chronicles, Honey's legacy beckons us, a forgotten ruler whose story resonates with mystery and intrigue. As we navigate the corridors of history, we invite you to join us in unraveling the tapestry of his life, achievements, and the secrets he left behind. From the hidden corners of ancient palaces to the whispers of ancient winds, our quest to unveil the truths of Pharaoh Honey's existence begins now. Welcome to History of Ancient Egypt channel, where history comes alive, and the past awaits its story to be told. What awaits you in this journey? In the chapters that follow, we'll embark on a multidimensional exploration into the life and times of Pharaoh Honey. Here's a glimpse of the remarkable insights you'll uncover. Dawn of a Reign. Immerse yourself in the historical context that gave rise to Pharaoh Honey's rule, a time of transformation in shifting sands. Architectural Clues. We'll decipher the whispers of history surrounding the Midam Pyramid, a structure that holds potential keys to Honey's legacy. Reading between the lines. Piece together fragments of inscriptions, symbols, and artifacts as we decipher the puzzle of Honey's identity and achievements. A Bridge in Time. Explore the role Pharaoh Honey played as a link between dynasties, an often overlooked yet pivotal chapter in Egypt's history. Lessons from the Shadows. Uncover the lessons embedded in the shadows of history, as Honey's legacy teaches us about the nuanced impact of rulers on the course of civilizations. An ongoing odyssey. Join us in embracing the ever-evolving quest to understand Pharaoh Honey, a pursuit driven by the passion of historians, archaeologists, and seekers of truth. Join the quest to rediscover the past. Subscribe and explore. As we embark on this thrilling expedition into the mysteries of ancient Egypt, we invite you to subscribe to our channel. By hitting that subscribe button and ringing the notification bell, you'll become an integral part of our journey, a journey that unearths secrets, honors the past, and sheds light on figures like Pharaoh Honey who have shaped our world. So, without further ado, let's step into the pages of history and bring the untold stories to life. Join us now, and let's dive into the fascinating world of Pharaoh Honey. The Enigma of Pharaoh Honey In the annals of ancient Egyptian history, some rulers shine brightly, leaving behind towering pyramids and well-documented legacies. Others, like Pharaoh Honey, dwell in the shadows, their stories shrouded in mystery and enigma. Journey with us as we delve into the life and reign of Pharaoh Honey, an overlooked figure who played a pivotal role in the transition from the 3rd to 4th dynasty. Honey, also spelled as H-W-N-E. Honey's reign is somewhat enigmatic, and there isn't a great deal of information available about him. Honey, the Smiter. We do not know whether he was the son of Kaaba, his most likely predecessor. There was an official in the court of Djoser named Honey who may have been promoted to the position of Pharaoh. Honey was the father of Queen Hedefirs I, the wife of Sneferu who was his successor and the first king of the fourth dynasty. It is also possible that he and his wife, Queen Merizant I, were the parents of Sneferu. He is believed to have ruled around 2635-2610 BCE, and his reign marked the end of the third dynasty, and some other sources believe that he ruled around 2599-2575 BC. Honey's reign is estimated to have lasted around 24 years. Monuments possibly connected to Honey. Honey built a fortress on the island of Elephantine to protect the border of Egypt at the first cataract. He broke with tradition and built pyramids in the provinces, instead of Saqqara. He is thought to have built small step pyramids at Sinki, Ambos, Abu Rawash, Nagata, El Kula, Edfu, and Elephantine and may also have built a small pyramid at Zaviyat el maitan The structures may mark the location of nearby royal residences, or may indicate that the pyramid was more than a tomb. It is sometimes suggested that the first true pyramid, at Maidam, was built by Honey. However, there is no record of his name in the monument, only in nearby Mastabas, while Sneferu is mentioned in texts at the site and the site is named after him. DJ Sneferu, Sneferu endures so it is quite possible that he is responsible for that monument. 
His vizier was Kagemni, who wrote, The instructions of Kagemni, which are recorded on the priest papyrus. The Midam Pyramid. Some archaeological references suggest that King, Honey, is the one who began the construction of the Midam Pyramid, located in the Midam area next to Memphis on the western bank of the Nile River in the Beni Souf Governorate, about 100 kilometers south of Cairo. However, he died before completing its construction, and King, Sneferu, later completed it. The name of Sneferu became associated with the pyramid, which led many ancient Egyptians from the modern state building era to attribute this pyramid to him in their inscriptions on its stones when they visited it. The Midam pyramid is considered the first complete pyramid shape in the ancient era. They first built a stepped structure erected on a square, with its entrance from the north as usual. It had several passages that led to the burial chamber, with half of it below ground level and the other half above, supported by the step structure. Afterwards, six layers were added, and then the sides of the steps were covered with smooth white limestone, cut from the Tura quarries, giving it the appearance of a complete pyramid. Each side's length was about 144 meters, and its height was 92 meters. King, Honey, chose the Midam area to construct his pyramid complex, which was expected to play an important role in the history of the evolution of royal tombs in the Old Kingdom. However, he did not complete its construction, and it was completed by King Sneferu, the founder of the Fourth Dynasty. The importance of the Midam Pyramid lies in its role as a link between the stepped pyramids of the Third Dynasty and the true pyramid of the Fourth Dynasty. It represents a significant stage in the evolution of the royal tomb, and its architectural style is known as the Layer Pyramid, differing from the stepped pyramids. It's a transitional stage towards the complete pyramid. The pyramid consists of a core or central tower surrounded by seven layers of limestone. Each layer had its external covering, and the gaps between layers were filled. An eighth layer was added to complete the pyramid's appearance, and it was covered on the outside with fine limestone. When completed, the pyramid's height was 92 meters, the base length was 144 meters, and the slope angle was 51 degrees. The entrance to the pyramid is located at a height of 30 meters above ground level and leads to a descending corridor that is 57 meters long. This corridor leads to a horizontal passage, which ends with two chambers and a vertical shaft. The main burial chamber measures 5.90 by 2.65 meters. The chamber's floor is at the level of the pyramid's base, and its roof features the corbelled ceiling design with seven levels. Wooden coffin remains were discovered inside the chamber, as well as wooden supports in the ceiling, similar to those found in Sneferu's pyramids in Dasher. As we conclude our journey into the intriguing life of Pharaoh Honey, we are reminded that history's corridors are filled with hidden gems waiting to be discovered. Through the sands of time, we've glimpsed into the enigmatic reign of a ruler who once held the scepter of Egypt. Join us again as we continue to explore the captivating stories of the past, unearthing forgotten chapters and revealing the treasures of civilizations long gone. Thank you for joining us on this expedition into the depths of history. Until next time, keep exploring, keep discovering, and keep unlocking the secrets of our world's fascinating past.